Time now to give more clues with respect to the Good Morning Shopping Spree extravaganza, which we're doing here at Good Morning conjunction with Plaza Pakaranga. All you have to do to be in to win potentially $6,000 to spend at Plaza Pakaranga in the space of 60 minutes, and that is all happening on Thursday. All you have to do is observe the following clue and then ring the 0900 number, which is right there. OK, here's today's clue. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eleven Harker lessons. Simple dimple. Now, time to jump on the phone. Call 0900 66400. Answer the question and you never know, you could be the winner. The big draw is happening on Wednesday. Now, in conjunction with this, every day we have 200, a $200, $200 shopping voucher to give away. And the winner is from... Friday's pool of calls, Antonia Wiley of Waitakere City here in Auckland. Antonia, we'll be on the phone in the very near future about how you can redeem that voucher. Okie dokie, that is the big competition. Very excited about it too. Time now for Celeb Cooking. Who is she? Okie dokie, it's time to find out. She is a journalist. She is part of the 60 Minutes team. She is... Ta-da! It is Janet McIntyre. Hi, Janet. Hi, Mary. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome to our organised chaos. <laughs> cooking. To that. Cooking, Janet. Yes. Are you a cook? Well, I love to cook, Mary. I don't have a lot of time to cook, but I really do love cooking. And um, I especially love really fiddly things that call for lots and lots of detail. Do you? I don't have a lot of time for it, but when I have a whole day free, I sometimes sit down and, you know, do a fabulous dessert that will take all day. I love that. Really? But this is not like that. This is incredibly simple. In fact, this will just take moments to make. And this is a meal that I've just kind of devised. Devised. She devised it in her suit last night. Isn't it fantastic? I'm going to do my jacket up. It looks very sloppy undone. Sorry, Jackie. Now, what does... Well, first, does it have a name? Well, it doesn't have a name because it's really only just sort of come to my head. So I haven't named it yet, but I'm sure we'll think of something along okay. the way. Um, it really calls for um, this little cut of meat, which is... Um, a chop. It's a little lamb cutlet, but it's a double lamb cutlet, which means it's, it's two ribs of the lamb rack but with one rib taken out. So you see it makes a nice fat little chop like that. Now it's very simple. All we do is pop some mustard on it. On the top. You must be the only person in the world, I think, who loves to do those fiddly, totally oh, creative things that take all day. Yeah, I love it. I think it's, a, it's more of a creative thing than a cooking thing. Yeah. It's, I think, a bit like floral art, you know? Yes. There we go, a bit of garlic on the top. And then on the top of that, we a little bit of... Um, Rosemary. Now, is this homegrown rosemary? It is. Come oh, from so my garden. Oh, yes. You're quite a gardener, are you, Janet? Well, I enjoy gardening as well, but again, it's one of those things I just don't have much time for. But um, I do have a, a wild and quite beautiful garden at the moment. That just goes on top. And a little bit of pepper. You see how quick it is? Now, I've... Um, we have some actually <laughs> doing the wild right, thing in the oven. Got them in, do we? you want so a plate or something? No, we've yeah, got a plate there. Put that, there. Put, put that there. So that's what it so looks like. So that's that, and um, a tray has gone into the oven, so we'll just How put How long that does that take to cook? It really only takes about six minutes on a very hot oven. That's the key to have a really hot oven, about 200, 220. And then after that, you have to let the piece of... You have to let them sit for about five or ten minutes mm. before you actually serve it, because... Yeah, it's still quite rare at that stage. So, six minutes in the oven. So, Another, very hot. So, you've yeah. actually got this on what? About 2.20. 2.20. Yeah. It is hot, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and it's just for short amount of time. That's right. Yeah. But the important thing is to be able to let it sit after you've um, yeah. brought it out. No, and we're not having meat alone. No, Look at no. this. Janet is so organised. She's done the whole nine yards yeah. for us. Well, as I say, it's very easy. I just um, cooked up a bit of kumara. They're very orange looking kumara. They're very orange. There's a beautiful kumara. A bit of cream in there. And um, I'll just smash Is that. Is Kumara a favourite of yours, Janet? I love Kumara. I love it. It's so lovely and sweet. And this is a particularly good one. Look at the colour of it. Do you that. have quite a sweet tooth? You talked about desserts before and now you're talking about Funnily Kumara. Funnily enough, I don't eat desserts at all. Um, but I do like Kumara. There we go. Bit Not even these wonderful desserts that you create that you'll labour over no, all day. You I won't find I them. can't really eat them, but I do like making them for other people. <laughs> there we go. How long have you been in journalism, Janet? Um, I've been in journalism since uh, 1984, so quite a while now. I started um, in television and um, I started in Brisbane, as a matter of fact, after I went to university and um, I moved to um, New Zealand in 1989. So, because so normally journalists go the other way. They go from New Zealand to Australia to find the big lights of, right. of the big channels. But um, in your case, why did you come to New Zealand? Well, 
I really, I'm just telling you, I'll just put some asparagus on oh, as okay. well. Oh, okay, sure. Just steam away. Um, I really came, Mary, because I wanted, I saw an opportunity here to um, really get some more experience. At the time I was in Brisbane, I was working in the newsroom and uh, I decided that um, New Zealand might just offer me something else and it has. I only planned to come for two years but I'm here eight years later. And You've done some fantastic stories, oh. fantastic stories on 60 Minutes. And the one that I remember the most is the one where you went to the nuns. Mm. Now, wh what's that branch of nunnery called? That's oh, forbid you don't call it a branch of nunnery. The, the Carmelite nuns. The Carmelite, thank yeah, you very much indeed. They were an amazing bunch of women, oh, amazing yeah. group of women, and uh, it really was an incredible experience. And one of the, you know, one of the reasons why I think I'm so lucky to have this career, because I have, you know, like then, I had an experience that, not, you know, very, very few people would ever have. Mm. They were wonderful women, and in fact, I still keep in contact with them. Oh, do you? But, yeah, I do. But aren't they reasonably divorced? They are outside? divorced, but I can still go and uh, see them through their, um, through the bars. Mm. I can say hello, mm. and I've called them and, you know, write them cards and things. But I can assure you they won't be watching this this morning. No, no, probably. So, <laughs> because they know, don't have a television set. So saying a big hello to them is probably yeah. an entire waste yeah. of time. However, yeah. how are we going? We have well, the asparagus. How long do you steam your asparagus for? Well, it really doesn't need very much time. It just needs probably a couple of minutes. Mm. Um, I might check on the lamb to see how check that's going. Check on the lamb. Because we put it in how long ago? Probably five minutes ago. Are they looking all right? It's just about there. It is? Yeah. Wonderful so, stuff. I'll just get rid of that. Well, so what's the future hold, Janet? How long would you like to stay with 60 Minutes? Oh, I'd like to stay with 60 Minutes, you know, <laughs> because I think it's a great program to work on and, um, you know, I think we've had a good year and we've gone and do, you know, we've got a lot of good stories coming up for next year. Okay. So, um, when do you come back on? We come back on at the end of January. Do you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we've got some good things lined up for next year. Yes. Would you but ever... Sorry. I was going to say, I mean, it's, um, it really is a dream job in many sense, in many respects, even though I don't get a lot of time to do home cooking, mm. I do have um, the chance to do some amazing things, great mm. travel and, um, of course, you know, uh, meeting some fabulous people. Yeah. And also some people, you know, whom we can occasionally help, so that's nice. Yes, I yeah. suppose that's the thing, isn't it? It's the power mm. of the medium. Mm. Um, it's just amazing, one mm. mention of something and just it has so much impact mm. on... You know, that's right. The well, great that's, unwashed. That's yeah. right. And, you know, the few times, the sometimes when you do make a difference to people's lives, when you can make a change, is um, the most rewarding thing, I think, about the job. Great. Okay, now time. How about, will we get a nice plate out and do a big decorative sure. arrangement-y thing? And um, through the magic of tally, we'll pretend that these are um, done. I think they're just about there anyway. That's okay. a big plate. Yeah. I'm really surprised that it only takes like six or so minutes to prepare those, Janet. Yeah, well, this is the beauty of something like this. You can just... This is what we do in this business. We just... <laughs> okay. There we go. Can't be fussy. Now, I can probably do with another minute or so. But what happens now is, ideally, you just let those sit there now for five or ten minutes. Mm. Just let them sit away. And... Uh, Pop the... Uh... We start with a bit of kumara here in the middle. Oh, good idea. We're doing a nice little sort of arrangement here. Yes. I am really surprised at how yellow those kumara are. I know. And then to just pile these down here like this. Oh, great. So you do four for each person? Yeah, three or four. As I say, each one is a double cutlet, so, you know, it's um, quite a bit of meat, actually. That's more than I'd... Eat. I'm sure you'd eat too. Oh, no, and I then I'd probably double that. <laughs> and your desserts. <laughs> My desserts today. And then just, you know, some asparagus around the edge. Oh, lovely. Oh, that looks great, Janet. Oh, so you'd take it all the way around? Oh, well, whatever you like, really. Yeah. You could build a little. God, it makes a difference, doesn't it? Just good presentation. <laughs> I mean, if that was me, I'd probably have put everything in its own little area rather than so sort of tumble it on well, top. Well, you can, and I'm sure it'd be fine, but I like the mix of colours there, the, you know. Oh, Janet, that yeah. looks great. Thank you. It's very a pleasure. Much it's a pleasure. And very Merry Christmas. Thank you. Same okay, to you. Take care. Janet McIntyre, our celeb cook. In fact, our last celeb cook for this year. But we're cranking up again mid-Feb next.